Hafez Shirazi, whose full name is Khwaja Shams Yud Din Muhammad Shirazi, was born in Shiraz. His father, Ba Yud Din Muhammad, migrated from Isfahan to Shiraz during the Atabakan period. Shams Yud Din's mother was from Kazarun and lived in Shiraz. There is no exact date for the birth of this poet. However, according to estimates, Hafez is considered one of the poets of the 8th century AH. Hafez lost his father during his childhood. As a teenager, he apprenticed in a bakery and attended the adjacent school. He had a keen interest in learning religious and literary sciences and participated in scholarly and literary gatherings. Shams Ud Din learned Arabic and memorized the Quran at a young age, which led to him being known as Hafez. By the time Hafez Shirazi reached his 20s, he had mastered many religious sciences. In addition to the Quran, he studied exegesis, philosophy, and Arabic grammar. According to his own account, he held a Quran study session every morning. His learning didn't he stop there. Hafez also delved into discussions about music, demonstrating a good understanding of musical instruments and scales. Hafez Shirazi's popularity was so immense that he found employment in the court of the ruler of Shiraz, earning his livelihood there. He also served other kings during his lifetime, such as Shah Mansur and Shah Yahya. Hafez emphasized the importance of integrity and considered hypocrisy and deceit to be among the gravest sins. Many rulers from Arab lands and India invited him to their courts, but he declined their invitations. In some of his poems, Hafez expressed a desire to travel to Iraq and Yazd, although it's believed he only traveled to Isfahan and Yazd. In certain verses, Hafez mentions that the ruler of Yazd mistreated him, leading him to weep for his exile in Yazd and longing to return to Shiraz. There are also speculations about Hafez's travels to India and the Hormuz region, but these have not been definitively confirmed. Much of Hafez Shirazi's biography has been written based on his own poetry. He fell in love during his youth, referring to his beloved as shak e nabit branch of the plant in his poems. Some say his beloved s name was Nesrin, and shak e nabit was a nickname given to her by Shams Ud Din. In pursuit of reuniting with shak e nabit Hafez spent 40 days and nights in vigil at the tomb of Baba Kuhi, reciting prayers. Some of Hafez Shirazi's poems also indicate his affection for his wife. Titles like Lisan al Gabe Tongue of the Unseen, Tarjman al Asrar Interpreter of Mysteries, and Sultan al Shuera Sultan of Poets are bestowed upon Hafez after his death. Hafez Shirazi's Divan has been printed more than 400 times in Persian and various other languages worldwide. On this day, Lovers of Hafez and researchers from both domestic and international origins travel to Shiraz. They speak of the magnificence and grandeur of this poet, reciting his verses beside his tomb. Hafez Shirazi is renowned for his ghazals. His verses in this form are among the most prominent in Persian poetry. However, he also composed poems in other forms such as ode, couplet poems, and quatrain. Hafez's writing style encompasses elements of romance, mysticism, and praise. He skillfully intertwines themes of love and mysticism using allusions in his ghazals. Many scholars describe Hafez's ghazal style as turbulent. Each couplet in his ghazals can stand independently, showcasing his vivid imagination in every segment. Interpreting Hafez's poems is challenging and there have been numerous debates and divergent opinions regarding his writings. This means that the efforts of each poet in their respective realms of the Ghazal were fruitless, and the only way forward was to blend these two together. Hafez intertwined the thoughts of Rumi and Khayyam with the words of Saadi, adding elements such as humor and social and political perspectives. He combined romantic and mystical Ghazals using the craft of illusion. While Saadi excelled in romantic ghazals and Rumi in mystical ones, for Hafez, the ghazal was no longer limited to one direction. 
This means that the efforts of each poet in their respective realms of the Ghazal were fruitless, and the only way forward was to blend these two together. However, Hafez's fusion of these two types of Ghazals reached the highest level, presenting eloquent and artistic language with profound themes. Hafez S. Divan contains 500 ghazals, 42 quatrains ruba'i, and several odes kazai. On average, Hafez composed only 10 ghazals per year, and he compiled his divan over a period of 50 years. His divan has been printed more than 400 times in Persian and other languages worldwide. According to reports, Khwaja Shams Ud Din Hafez Shirazi passed away in the year 792 AH. He was laid to rest in the Musala Gardens of Shiraz, in an area known for its tranquility. Today, Hafez S. Tomb is one of the most important attractions in Shiraz, drawing numerous tourists to visit it.